Oh, it's a good thing I built the foundations. Minus five to hull strength. I mean, it wouldn't have destroyed anything. Sorry, Edgard. <laughs> uh, oh shit. Oxygen. Oh, this might be my first death. Ah, too far. Oh my god, I made it. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! Ah! Hours later. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Tunipudu. Rana no prata dung no sercha. It you a penki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here too. Oh. Yeah, I guess. That should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. God damn it. Hey, who just left this here like Oh. I hope that was a cat that I tossed off the mountain. Whoa! That was a hell of a ragdoll! Now you can no longer be an adventurer. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Good luck, Uthkurt. <laughs> um. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, that's no, no, Uthkurt, no. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Holy crap. Check this way. Holy crap. Oh 
boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop everything. They've all gone. <laughs> oh. Damn it. <laughs> hey, uh, did you find the lieutenants? Not yet. But I think I know where they are. Good. Kill all the fuckers. Whoa. Okay. Be careful with the landings. Noted. What else have we got here? Oh, how did I miss the donkey head? It's a donkey mask. I don't want to look like a jackass. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. So knock it off. <laughs> this giant thing I realize that doesn't really narrow it down any oh what's that giant thing Delivery on the loot. That's so convenient. I almost feel bad for killing him. Almost. The treasure is mine. All mine. I wouldn't be so quick to. Yeah. Well, rip her. I think we're gonna use the Michael Bolton Doug trio here that we just evolved. We have relatively limited storage. And, um... We have 394 branches. That kinda sounds like a lot of branches. It had not occurred to me that branches are going to be the bulk of our firewood over the winter. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today, we're going to be continuing, at long last, our adventures in The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, guys, I want to get back into this, so... Let's get... Oh, right. It helps if I turn the console on. Hang on. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, there we go. I also probably would benefit from having a view of the game for myself instead of relying on OBS. There we are. All right. Winters, how you doing? It's good to see you. There we go. How are you doing, Winters? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've been so looking forward to this. I've learned a few things since the last time I played. Uh, I haven't learned very much, though, because I have intentionally kind of kept myself in the dark about some of it. But I might have to rethink my stance on those, you know, the single-use cooking pots. Apparently... The single use for actually cooking food is only one possible use for them. 
doing pretty well. Got up stupidly late today, so I'm not sleepy yet. I'm kind of the opposite. I went to bed quite late last night and then had to get up quite early today. And so, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I, I didn't actually get up until around 11 o'clock, which by my current standards, that's pretty normal. So I'm not missing out on too, too much sleep. But I am a little bit tired, and I do have a bit of a headache, though I just took something for it, and I expect it'll go away. But, uh, yeah. So, it's gonna be a day. Oh, the new clothing shop here. <coughs> but this game is exactly what the doctor ordered. What do we have? Oh! The Radiant Outfit is here instead of in Gerudo Town now? That's interesting. It's nice that you can get it again, though. Stealth chest guard? What? Armor designed for stealth passed down through the Sheikah tribe. Okay. This, yeah, this, this, uh, this is our priority. So we need 15,000. We need 15,000 rupees stat. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm honestly already feeling a bit better. So I don't think that's going to be a big problem. But I've just really been looking forward to getting out here and doing some stuff. One thing I really want to do is that shrine, so we have to figure out how to get up there. I'm just r really glad now that I know where to get the stealth armor because that, like I said, that, that's got to be a priority. That's going to be our number one armor get. I want my stealth armor back again. So we're getting the heck out of that as soon as possible. We also need more stamina. That's not going to work, is it? No. Okay. Come on, Link. You can do it. Oh, is night falling already? Wow. They really don't have much of a transition period, do they? What? Oh my god, it's raining now? You've got to be joking. Okay. Well, that's horribly inconvenient. Silent Princess. Oh, looks like we can get to the, uh, the shrine from over here, no problem. Take these. Makasura Shrine. Wooden objects and dry grass catch fire easily. Okay, good to know. Flammable stuff goes into flames. An upright device. Nope. 
Oh, is it this one? I've seen so many people struggle with this one. I watched Julia play this one. I watched Greeny play this one. <clears throat> So what is this? Oh, this, I think I have one of these, don't I? Zonai devices, stabilizer. Yes, this is the thing. A perfectly balanced Zonai device that stands upright when activated. It was used to secure footholds in unstable places such as Sky Islands. Okay. Probably more this way. Didn't work. Okay. That's all right. Nope. Come on. Do it, Link. Now, is there anything else I can take? No. Okay. So I got this far. I need to retrieve that and see what else is going on over there. And then I remember we've got to get over there. So let's see if we can't retrieve this. Up. Ah. Not by doing that, apparently. Um, okay, hang on. We can fix this. Okay, that presents a challenge. No, damn it. Actually, you know. Or maybe not. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <clears throat> maybe not. Maybe not.
Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> That's going to be too much for me, isn't it? Hang on. Can I just reach? No. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Not exactly what I had in mind, but all right, whatever, fine. Maybe the extra height will help, who knows. I'm gonna give it a try. could activate it in time. I'm gonna make it topple over, aren't I? No, no, no! Damn it! <sighs> I guess I've been falling a little behind on my cooking. Actually, I'm gonna drop that there. That's gonna topple. Boom. All right. I guess I just have to do the mirror of the other one. Stays active even when I move it. See, that makes one of my other ideas, if this doesn't work, a lot more viable. Come on, Link. Nope, you almost had it. Come on, buddy. There we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Now the question is, can I get up onto that? Yes, I can. Now, will this hold me? Yes, it will. Can I? No. Damn it. <laughs> okay, well. Um, I have a little bit more reach over there. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Can I reach it now? No. I can't pull anything from in there out over this gate. Um, maybe the answer is to go up and over the gate and get stuff from in here to get me a little bit closer. Because I know I can get out of there. Link. Oh, I guess I probably need to be closer, huh? Yeah, okay. Not a problem. No, oh, don't jump off. Just up. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I see. This gives us some stuff to work with. <laughs> Including a catapult by the looks of it. That's handy. sure if we need the catapult right now, but I want to try it just to see. Come on. That works pretty nice. I like it. It's a shame it overshot a little bit, but that's okay. I'll go put it where it needs to be when I'm ready for it. Fairy Tonic. This powerful recovery elixir harnesses the power of fairies. So how are you doing so far, Winters, this week? I hope all is going well. Oh, I can't move the chest. All right.
Okay, is that everything? Yeah, I can't move that disc. All right. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Things are going all right. I had that annoying call drop out yesterday, and I woke up too late to be bothered to try again today. I'm sorry to hear about that. I can relate to the waking up late bit, though. Okay. Is this just one piece? Because that's a little awkward if it's only one piece. But I can work with it. No. 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 Had a caseworker help me apply for this disability insurance scheme, but the same person doesn't have permission to inquire on the status of my application? It's been over the three months they're supposed to get back to you. That is... not cool. That's really not cool. I'm really sorry about that. I never did get that. I'm gonna need that, aren't I? Okay, well, I should be able to make that happen more easily now. At least in theory. No, no, no. Wrong. Very wrong. That's better. Oh, hey, would you look at that? Accidental discovery time, guys. That apparently is how you build a stable ramp.
That's heckin' cool. But not what I'm looking for. Whole scheme is getting audited too. Too many people that don't need it were getting accepted and people have also been spending a lot of money on things they weren't approved for. Oh boy. Somebody's in trouble, it sounds like. I'm sorry you got caught up in that though. That really sucks. Oh, you know what though? That actually looks like it might be too heavy for the one thing. So... Let's put this... No. I'm gonna put that there. Oop. And we'll put that there. I'm not certain if that's helping, but we're going to give it a try. I want to see if I can keep this upright enough to give me the distance I need to go and collect those ones over there. Oh, oh, oh. It's a little precarious, but I'm going to trust it. Carefully. Ooh. Okay, so I can make it. Oh, oh, I got it. Figures I would cave in and try to apply when they start having problems. Wasn't going to try at all, but some of my family insists it would be beneficial. Well, if you can get legitimate benefits, I mean, that can only help, right? Hopefully. Oh, whoops, timber. There we go. Bring this back. Hammer, how's it going? Good to see you. Hmm, I need more space to work. Uh, oh. 
You're not attached to the correct point. You're still not a correct point. There we go, that's better. Now, I don't think I need these two. Let's check in this room here and see what's what. I know it'll help in the long run, but unsurprisingly, one likes to deal as little as possible with government bureaucracy. I know the feeling. Uh-oh. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that just about triggered my vertigo. Uh, I was thinking that it was starting to tip over while I was climbing, but it was just the camera angle adjusting. This is actually quite dull. Look at that. That used more than three quarters of my original stamina ring. Yay, did it. Nailed it. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. I've been watching so much of this game, it's so interesting seeing how everyone goes about solving the puzzles. Yeah, last night I was watching Greeny. He was playing this. And he got to that one on-rails puzzle that I did the other day. And it was really fascinating watching him work through it. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. You know, I almost wonder if maybe I should cut out all of the shrines from the VODs and just post those as individual YouTube videos. That might be kind of fun. What was that? Was that... That was too fast to be a falling star, right? Okay, so there's that shrine done. Okay, I think we already checked this area out last time. We went up to where the fairy uh, fountain was in Breath of the Wild. Sadly, she's no longer to be found there. We're going to have to relocate her. Or that makes it sound like we're going to help her move. We're going to have to relocate her.
It would seem that her resting place is now a portal to hell. So we're gonna leave Kakariko for the time being. We're just kind of on a little bit of a sightseeing tour at the moment, going around doing the occasional shrine and maybe tower if we can reach them. I wanted to see what it was like up in this area. I want to visit Terrytown next. And then maybe we'll head on over to Gerudo Town if I can get there. Although that presents its own challenges. We might only get as far as the Oasis, unless a lot of stuff has changed in that area. We'll have to see how things go. Oh, hello. Thank you. Basically, I just want to check out all the towns that I hung out in a lot in Breath of the Wild so that I don't have to avoid streams anymore when they're going around visiting all these places that I want to experience for the first time myself. Oh, uh, where is... I need a decent weapon. Zonite sword. Let's fuse this Zonite sword with a rock. Actually, no. I'm going to use a different weapon. Um, oh, I haven't tried the log club yet very much. Give me your eye. Maybe your wing, too. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Jim. How's it going? It's so good to see you. Let me get you shout-outs. I don't even know if it's worth using the other command, but I'm going to give it a try. Hey, it worked. No worries, Jim. Uh, for those of you who maybe aren't aware, although I have a hard time believing any of you here are unaware, Jim Racer is a fantastic streamer and longtime friend of the channel. He specializes a lot in racing games, but also does a hefty and heavy dose of sci-fi games, especially Star Trek. So if any of you happen to like that kind of thing, and I know you do, you definitely want to check him out if you're not already. Hey, it's the drummer. What's up? It's Beats. Come on. Okay, what are you doing? What? Huh? Hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling Beats with my beat. Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the musical troupe I play in has been a little down. I figured I'd make him honey crepes. That should cheer our maestro right up. Aww. But I can't get my hands on any coarser bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crepes without the honey? That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beat. All I need are three combs of honey. Someone said there are some beehives around Kakariko Village to the north, near that huge hole that opened up. But that hole is pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. <laughs> Honey bee mine. Alright, let's go back and talk to our Gerudo friend over here, because she was looking for the drummer. Now that we found him, we can maybe help her out with that. Every time I watch this, I get nostalgic for the days I played Ocarina of Time. A particular tune from it gets stuck in your head. Nice winters. Oh. You hear that? It's coming from around here somewhere. Is that a drum? I hear it. Oh. I am hearing that then. Maybe it's the one I'm destined to walk through life with calling to me in that way. But it can't be. It just can't be. I wonder where it's coming from. I've been scouting here for the source, but I haven't found it yet. 
Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if we can actually help her. Maybe it's the sort of deal where we can't help her until we've helped him first. go. That's how you hunt. Attack birds from above because they never expect it. all looks so weird without all the guardians around. Oh, we have mounted riders. They have, like, vision for miles. Wait, is that a mounted rider or is... Yeah, that's a mounted rider. I was worried it might be a Lionel. Oh, damn it! I have to climb the freaking gate! Don't give me... Ah. Why is it only raining when it's the least possible convenient time for it to do so? Rude. <laughs> it might not be so bad here. I can probably hop over the wall at this point. There we go. Wait a minute. Can, oh, did I not go to the sh I haven't done the shrine at Hot No Village yet. Okay, so we have to do that. I also never went to the um, the ancient the Akala ex ancient tech lab. I'll help you out in a while there, buddy. I'm on a mission right now, so no can do. Sorry. Take that. I really need to get that armor. It's 
very difficult to go bug hunting when... Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll help you in a while, too. Just not right now. Be patient. Your friend will understand. It's real difficult to go bug hunting when they hear you coming a mile away. Maybe I should try to grab the tower here, too. lost my oh wow okay so logs are not as impressive on fused weapons as I thought they would be I'm gonna have to try and find maybe like a boulder or something to fuse onto it the one for here. There's the shrine. And there's the tech lab. Okay. There's another well here. Hot no village south well. Three minute warning on ads, guys. Three minutes and I will take a break and make myself some coffee. More coffee. Second coffee. Scoop it out. Okay. I don't know if I've seen this one before. So we need a ball to put in there. Let's see what we got back here. Okay, that's where we're trying to get to. Oh, I have seen this. I have seen this. I saw Greeny do this one. Yeah, okay. All right. So we have some sort of powered gizmo over this way. We need to power this, apparently. I'm going to assume these are conductive. Yeah, there we go. So that's easy enough. 
So that spins. Now let's just see what happens. I'm going to guess that this is part of the solution, but not the entire solution. Yeah, that doesn't seem to really be scooping much of anything. No. Okay, how do we get back out of here? I guess we have to ascend. off okay good to know i will be back in a few minutes folks i'm gonna go make my second coffee like i said so if you guys need to get up grab some food or a drink or a snack or something now's a real good time and i'll meet you back here in three and a half to five There were two? Rude. Ow. Fine. Bone hammer it is. Oh god, this is so slow. This is so freaking cool. I love it. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so, and I will send you back. Return now to me, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. There you are. Dumped it right and literally next to me. All the living shall fear the dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Othgard. That was perfect. Hi. Oh, sorry, Jeb. Did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Life, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. Arch enemy discovered. Okay.
I like this so far. I like the ones that have the big, long ramps like this. Oh, no way. Oh, no. I bet you I can use this. Still got it. Whoa! <laughs> uh. Wow. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not both? Explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? both? Both. 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 Both is good. That could work. Whoa! This place. And maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, what? Please somebody clip that. Holy... Please! Yes, please uh... somebody clip that! Oh my god! <laughs> back sorry about that okay so we're gonna want whoops we're gonna want ultra hand I was able to confirm yesterday by the way ultra was streaming this game and she has admitted and confirmed that uh, for her the ultra hand ability is just a normal hand Thank you, Winters. Thank you, Jim. Let's see what we can come up with here. Conductive plate, don't I?
Okay. Well, I mean, it's not the power scoop I was hoping for, but it seems okay. That's a bit of a problem. Not satisfied with that. Oops. go back to our old Breath of the Wild tricks here. Oh, they have modified it. How tricksy. Only the metal end of it is conductive. In Breath of the Wild, it didn't matter. The entire thing would do it. Oh, hang on. You can do ultra hand attachments with these two? I did not realize that. Okay, so that doesn't seem to actually help in any meaningful way. I do have shields. Does that one not do it? Okay. Fifty? Level frickin' fifty? How did I get a shield that amazing? And it's also not conductive. That's inconvenient. Um... Okay, what the heck? Where are my bows? Do I not have bows? Hooks. 
They're not. Oh my god, nothing I've got is conductive. Surely this must be right. There we go. Nope. I mean, that would actually work. That's fine, but... There we go. I succeeded in stopping everything from working. That's not what I had in mind, but kinda. Oop, oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> that was not the goal. Luckily, this should be easy enough to fix. So if we can't go like this, maybe we can go like this. Whoa, 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 what did I do? I think it's just breaking apart. <laughs> yep. It's disintegrating. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Oops. Continually dismayed at just how ineffective the glue is.
Man, those things are heavy. Okay, so what's that? That's four pieces recovered. I think I had more than that, didn't I? Oh, right, there's gotta be still one topside. How easy is it to find weapons non-fused that don't break after seven hits on goblins? Uh, I'm not certain that's a thing. The whole idea is that most weapons in the world have been corrupted and corroded, and the whole point of fusion is to make them stronger so they can actually be used for a while. But if you find the best weapons, and fuse them with the best materials, they will actually be fairly durable. So it's less of a problem than it used to be. Okay, let's try a different approach here. I gotta say, though, uh, in further answer to your question, weapon durability was never a massive issue for me. I didn't really mind it all that much. Not nearly as much as a lot of people seem to. So I have not put any serious amount of effort into really finding the most durable weapons possible. I'm not saying it never gets aggravating. Of course it does, but... It's never been, like, a serious, serious aggravation for me. See if by some chance this is maybe a little bit stronger, maybe. Actually, that's going to be completely ineffective. Never mind. Hang on. No. Hmm. Hey Vikings, how's it going? Oh, it's all right. Hope you're doing well. Hmm, no, don't like that. The problem I'm running into now is that you can only really attach things at a single point. I kind of want to double up the strength of the glue to make it more durable, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. 
Uh, day's been a little bit scuffed, honestly. Generally okay, but... I got up early for an appointment where we were supposed to have a company drop by to check out the furnace and the fireplaces. They're supposed to be here between 9 and 12 p.m., like 9 a.m., 12 p.m. And uh, it put the stream into a little bit of disarray because... Uh, because of when I start right at 12 p.m. But uh, they hadn't shown up by quarter after 11. But then I found out it actually got rescheduled to next Wednesday, so it worked out okay. I was worried that I was going to have to start late and maybe do a makeup stream tomorrow or something. But it ended up working out okay. Only real problem is that I messed up my sleep schedule last night in preparation for it. So I'm a bit tired today, but... Nothing too serious. Okay, how do we move massive numbers of these things? I'm just gonna try the dead simple approach again see what happens see the problem is oh <laughs> well that doesn't help yeah it's just passing over most of them Oh, I will definitely catch up on sleep tonight, don't you worry. Oh, whoops, nope. Wait, oh. I didn't even realize they had a map function there. I'm so used to just hitting a button. Try that again. Oh, oh, no, oh, that's gonna break. Oh, uh, no, damn, ugh, crap. Oh, it's actually kind of working. I mean, that definitely stirred things up a lot. I wonder if it did enough. Missing one piece. Oh, 
Oh, nope, there it is. Okay, so we got a bunch of them out. That's encouraging, but we need to do better. So, actually, I think what we want... It broke. Because the two together like that are just a little too long. I think what we need is more of an angled scoop on it. Context message from the support back channel for DDB. It's saying $91.31 of that was tax. For ton context, tax should have been 80 cents. Oh, God. Oh, no, Vikings. I've actually already opened the p solution to the puzzle. I just want to get as many of these scooped out of here as I can because I believe very strongly there's a chest hidden somewhere down there. see how that does. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. Uh, that's maybe working too well. <laughs> Aha! There's the chest. That's awesome. Look at that. Look at... Oh my god, they're everywhere now. <laughs> so that was the key. That was the key. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Mm-hmm. 
the arm is getting a little less green. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. How are you doing, Aranor? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're healing better and faster. That was really fun. I like that one quite a bit. Doing all right, but have to go run errands soon, so that's a bit annoying. Oof. Well, yeah, that sucks. Okay, now we need things and stuff that we can do. Uh, oh, actually, we need to go visit the tech. Oh, look, the double rainbow. Very nice. We need to go visit the Akala Tech Lab. Nothing. Let's see. Just gonna have my halberd equipped in case I find something worthy of using it. well with the windmills, is it? Hello, nice weather to feel the breeze, isn't it? It's rare to see travelers out here. Unless... Uh-oh. You haven't come to steal away my darling wife, have you? Huh, <laughs> just kidding you. No doubt you're here looking for the farm or the research lab. Huh, so you weren't on your way to the research lab up the hill? Just as well, I suppose. The lab's empty. Pura and Ravi, the re researchers who used it, have gone off to look out landing near Hyrule Castle. Mm. If you weren't heading to the research lab, maybe you're looking for the farm. Oh, oh were you not on your way to Hot No Pasture up ahead? I know most folks here are obsessed with CC brand fashion right now, but the best thing about this village is and always will be the bounty of its farmlands. Have a bottle of our freshly squeezed milk and you'll know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, but nothing comes between the two of us, not even you. I met my wife in Luralin Village to the south of here. She's the most beautiful woman in Hotno Village, maybe even all of Hyrule. The two of us have always guarded the windmills and shifts. Except something bad is happening in her hometown and she's pretty broken up about it. She's at home now, resting. Oh. I picked this spot because you can see both the windmills and my house clearly from here. If anything happens, I can come running at once. So, are we done here? I don't want to take my eyes off the windmills or the house for too long. Yep, we're good. I love that they still have those three trees on the mountaintop. Okay, well, let's go see the research lab anyway and see what's going on there. It sounds like the answer is uh, not too much. That's okay. Sunk without it. How do I fix this? Do I dive in the pond? There's no way. That's too deep to swim. Hmm? What's with that blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. Sorry, but if you're here on farm business, you'll have to talk to my dad at the farm. I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond, quick. I finally found the letter my great-grandpa left, but I can't reach for it. My arms are too short. Pond's too deep to swim, and anyways, I don't know how. But that letter has the advice I need to get this farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. A letter to Koyan. Oh, it's way out there, is it? Surely there must be materials I can use to craft some sort of a raft or boat. They won't mind if I steal logs, will they? Huh. 
Actually, I wonder if I can just go out and get it. Wow. Link is such a slow swimmer. I think he might be slower than he was in Breath of the Wild. That's fine, right? I'm sure it's fine. Let's see here. Mm, not the axe, maybe. Okay, so it doesn't work quite the way it did in Breath of the Wild, then. We'll have to use one of my fans. Oh, damn it. <laughs> there, I'll glue it on. New specialty with mare cheese fermentation. Can't name too early. I told you, whatever you're after, I'm too busy to... Huh? That's my great-grandpa's message bottle, but how did you... Did you fish it out for me? Thanks. There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting our farm back on its feet. Let me. Let's see here. Mm, yep, there we go. Gosh, do I miss Great Grandpa's handwriting. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. So, not quite as bad as mine. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. New specialty with mare cheese fermentation. Can't name too early. 
Yeah, this could work. Sorry to run, but I want to put Great Grandpa's advice into practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. Hey. It's right over there, by the way. Come by a bit later so I can thank you for the help. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'll be good not just for our farm, but for the whole village. <laughs> I'm itching to get started. I guess we'll find out in time, Erinlar. That sounds a little weird, but you know what? While we're there and I've got the boat and I used one of my precious fans on it, I might as well go to that island in the middle of the lake. You're not wrong, Jim. Or is it fermenting grapes and serving the results with cheese? Uh, fermenting milk products is definitely a thing. Oh, is it that time again? Okay. Stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. I don't think it would make alcohol necessarily. You're stopped. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Crash the moon into the planet. Wow. Hey, Sketchy, it's going all right. How are you doing? Well, nothing up here. I'm disappointed. Okay, on we go, back to the tech lab. Hey, Ganondorf, it's Ganondorf. Don't look up, what? <laughs> smashes, moon smashes into Hyrule Castle in Ganon. Wow, Aranlar. I mean, that would be a pretty epic conclusion. Hey, hey Kamesy. How are you recovering from the other day? I hope all is well. Congratulations on the massive success. That was pretty awesome to see and be part of. Thank you for the shout out, Aaron. I appreciate that. Now, where the heck? Oh, there it is. 
I think. Ooh, dragon over there. Ah, uh, it's my pleasure, KMC. Definitely a worthy gauze. get there. <laughs> Such a relief to have someone watching things while the rest of us were in chaos mode. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, we go up this way. Okay. I got it. I think that might be the way to the other village, perhaps? I'm not sure. Oh. Korok. Oh, what is this? What? What? <gasps> what? What is this? What? Excuse me. Oh, that's cool. Doesn't look quite right, does it? Lights out here. Can't wait to not need to say this. Have a good stream. Thank you so much, KMC, and good luck. Man, it's almost like it needs a power source or something. How rude. That's better. Okay. This is freaking awesome. I love it. Horses, schmorses. This is how you travel. No. Don't you dare. No. Oh, well, okay. Bye-bye. It was nice while it lasted. Hot no ancient tech lab. Need to get inside? Come find me at Lookout Landing near Hyrule Castle, Robbie. I remember finding a million of these frogs all over, what was it? Um, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, they've still... <gasps> this is our first direct sighting of an actual ancient guardian. That's so cool. I love it. I need a better look, though. Oh, come on. Damn it. Okay, fine. That's what Greeny had hinted at. 
I thought he was uh, referring to the way they sort of repurposed the Guardians and turned them into these towers that they've constructed all over the land. Speaking of, that's our next destination since there doesn't seem to be a whole lot to do here. But that's really cool. I love seeing that there is still just a trace of them around. That's really fun. Oh, right. It's cold here. Uh. Oh, and I really don't have much in the way of spicy pepper stuff, do I? Okay, you know what? Change your plan. We're going back to the village and we're doing some cooking. And then... Then we will come back. I need more stuff to cook with. There's a few fish around here. Oh, there's an Octorok as well. That's fun. Gotcha. Of course, I'm never going to get out that far to retrieve that stuff. And I think my boat's already toast. Mighty Carp. Wow, three minutes till ads again? Oh, there's a cave here too. Retsum Forest Cave, East Nekula. What? There's a whole heckin' shrine? That's so cool. Greeny, how's it going? I just fin uh, visited the tech lab. So I found what you were hinting at, that yes, indeed, there are still traces of the ancient guardians around. Just about to have to take a break, but I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Oh, you are correct. Thank you for that. That's a holdover from uh, Jedi Survivor, since I did both of them in the one stream. I just looked and I saw, oh, yep, yeah, okay, title says uh, Zelda, so we're good. I didn't really look closer. Raru's Blessing. This is a very different shrine. I like it. It's very nice.
Magic Scepter, a long and mysterious magical rod, it's said to have been wielded by an ancient magician who awoke the latent power of gems. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Okay, ads are beginning. Hang on. I will be right back. Something's moving something around pretty Here. Some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. What the hell? Oh my... That had to have been the forged. That's so annoying. He dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder than the first game. I'm gonna show you what I've done with Starlight Drive-In. You're out of uniform, sir. What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. <laughs> huh. Golden duck, cracking job. So quick to Yeah. Well, rip her. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh. This is so cool. Is that the sea? No, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. We're on the right track. I've never heard of it before. What on earth is... Some cooking. 
Un oh shoot. didn't work so well. So, once she's regained her ability to take action, I'm gonna bring her back and she can deliver the stuff that she's collected to us. <laughs> oh. Um... Oh, you caught up. Two of you did. Where's Lydia? Lydia, oh, there you are. Okay. Come on, Lydia. I haven't given you that much to carry. That's a lie. Yes, I have. That's made of wood. It should float. All right, I'm back. Thank you, Winters. Thank you, Aranar. Oh, I should visit a shrine. I've now got four. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Thank you, Greeny. Now let's see if we can find a bubble frog. Just got to Goron City before I ended last night, but I think I want to explore a bit in the depths before you go much further. You want more battery power? Nice. I haven't actually been to the depths yet. I've only been to caves like this one and, uh, well, the sort of intro to the pseudo depths that you get on Starter Island thingy. Come on. Gimme. Thank you. Oh, there is a bubble frog. Okay. Bubble gem. Hmm. Sticky lizard. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking I want to do a few towers today, do a bunch of shrines today. I'm trying to make my way up to Terrytown. I want to visit most of the cities that I spent most of my time hanging out in over in uh, Breath of the Wild so that I can actually pay more attention when people that I know are streaming this game. I don't have to keep avoiding stuff. Well, you're a new face around here, if I'm any judge. Welcome to Hot No Pasture. Love to get some sun. Don't my cows look happy to be out sunbathing? You here to buy fresh milk, Wanderer? Sure you are. The milk for my cows is the best in Hot Nope. The secret's in the special feed I make for them. Except I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. There used to be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. 
No idea where they all went. Probably the squirrels started taking over and grabbing them all for themselves. Time for you to run around. All right, Aaron Thor, have a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out. And thank you, Greeny, for the shout out. And yes, the command has actually been surprisingly helpful today. It's actually like working and stuff. Sometimes they'll drop the acorns they carry in their cheeks if you startle them, but they're quick little critters. I need at least three acorns to make my special feed, so it's a real problem for me. No fooling. Well, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, not with me at my wit's end and all. I don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but have a bottle on me. I was keeping it squirreled away, but no reason to be a miser about it now. I better go mix up a batch of feed right away now that I got some more acorns. If you ever want some more fresh milk, I'll swap you some for three acorns. Call it a special trade just for you. Dances prize cows. Thank you, Greeny. I appreciate that. Okay, now, let me see. No. Nope. Can I... Yeah, I guess we'll have to do it that way. Uh, let's see. Wow, I don't have any meat for cooking. We'll have to... Oh, that's... I have to use that one. Cold resistance, four and a half minutes. Nice. Speaking of apples, do we think we'll get anything interesting along with the likely Mac release of No Man's Sky? I'm still betting that's the main focus of the upcoming update. Well, I would be pretty surprised if they didn't do a new um, expedition as well. Beyond that, I really don't know. Okay. Oh, right, sunrooms. I forgot about those. <laughs> Spicy tomato mushroom stew. Cold resistance, six minutes, 30 seconds. Nice. Okay. I like that. Seems the most likely thing they'll do. They did so with the Switch release, yes. Very nice. Kind of a waste, because I don't have nearly that many hearts, but that's fine. Hang on a second here. Something caught... Ooh. Very nice again. 11 minutes, 30 seconds? Damn! Select for recipe? What is that about? Oh, holy... What? Oh, I love this. This is such a great quality of life thing. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. 
That's so cool, Greeny. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, this is the last one because now I'm out of sun shrooms, but that's okay. <laughs> so I got several of them with the 11 minute 30 second time. That's going to be great because it's going to take a bit to get up to that tower. That's wonderful. Whoops. Let's see what's up here, and then we'll hang glide across to get a little bit of a head start up the slopes of the mountain towards the tower. I had my first taste of vehicle control today, by the way, Greeny. I assume it was set up so that we could create a drivable vehicle to help out a stranded, exhausted Korok. But I just used it to get up to Hot No Tower. Oh, right. Uh, I made all that food for a reason, didn't I? There we go. Oh, it's... Wow, it's still too cold. Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we're not going to that tower right now. I guess we need a new plan of action. That's very unfortunate. We'll have to go around to get to Terrytown then. I was going to try and uh, you know, go grab the tower while I was able, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the way right now. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. I really got to get on making those new alerts, too. I love the concept of the alerts I've got now, but I don't care for the execution. Got to redo it.
This looks like a thing. What do we got going on here? Splash fruit. Oh, this must be a piece of a fallen sky island. That's fun. Whoops, let's not run off the edge. I have two pieces of, sorry, three pieces of clothing, Greeny. I've got the tunic that I found up top in the Sky Island at the very beginning. I found the pants that I found up there as well. And I've got a hairband that I, or like a hair ring or something that I found in my old house that apparently I gave to Zelda. And that's it. I have no armor of any type. No special gear. Right. No map either. Okay. I did learn where I can get my all-important stealth gear, though. I can go back to Kakariko Village and get that. Hmm. Death incoming in just moments. Coarser bee honey. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Okay, I'd better get the heck out of here. The Hillian set? Yeah, I didn't... Real, I, I looked at it. I didn't really see what the effects of it were. I'll get it eventually. I don't really have any money right now. I'm a lot more concerned with just doing a bit of a sightseeing tour and grabbing up some towers and shrines while I'm at it. And then we'll get back to the story, which will probably get me money, which will probably let me actually get some stuff. Just better defense than what you've got? Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm used to one-shotting those things with arrows. Of course, I usually line it up better and headshot them, too. This one. All right. Oh, bah. you jerk. Remember this bit. 
Ooh, cave. Think I'm gonna switch my phone and slowly migrate to bed. Still not very sleepy, but I am not getting up at 2 p.m. again. Fair enough, Winters. Sounds like a good idea. Robbed drop-off cave. Treasure sleeps beyond the path shown by the stone statues. What's defending it, though? That's my question. Rock salt. Oh, I hear a th oh god. Rude. How dare. Maybe we'll come back. I don't want to deal with those guys right now. When I'm better equipped, maybe. Oh, God! Nobody told me they could come out of the cave. Oh, you... Only saw three hours of daylight today. <laughs> he looks a little dicey getting up there. I think I might have to go around. Well, now you know as well, Greeny. <laughs> they can leave, or, you know, they can... We don't necessarily know that they can go far, but they can leave. Oh, I love the distant thunderstorm. Look at that. That's awesome. Zolfos, lovely. Okay, that, that wall there looks like my best hope of getting up, if I can avoid notice by them. So maybe it's a good thing I've got stealth bonus right now.
Well, nope. Climb, Link. Well, I'd better get past this mountain range soon. It looks like we've got rain coming up in the not too distant future. Oh. Let's maybe avoid them. Shock fruit, very nice. Okay, we've got a bit of river here. This actually looks kind of familiar. be on that side of the river. I'm not 100% certain about that, but that's what my plan is right now. I am not, though, going to take that very convenient road, which does look very familiar. I think back in 2020, we were exploring around that area in Breath of the Wild. I'm going to stick to the hilltops above if I can. Though that rain is getting awfully close. We'll see how viable my plan actually is. Hello. Just passing through, don't mind me. Eastgate, Lenariu Road. Okay, it's almost time for rain. Looks like we've got a pretty good place to cross over here. Yikes. I hope I make it. I'm not used to having so little stamina anymore. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> well, for certain definitions of good. <laughs> We're not quite dead. That's a plus. Oh, it's one of you guys. I don't really want to deal with you right now. You are kind of in my way though, aren't you? Oh, 
Oh, we traded one oncoming rainstorm for another oncoming rainstorm. That's fun. I think Link would argue over your definition of we're good. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he would. Those guys aren't going to be hostile, are they? They're going to be just fine, right? Crap. Okay. I don't really need the cold resistance, but I do need the hit points. you are. Oh, jeez. They are really determined, aren't they? Oh, God. They're gonna freaking bomb me with rocks now? got away. That Korok can also wait. Hey, Hecto, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, God. Ah. Nope. Okay. chased over in the wrong direction. I don't want to go seaside. Oh, God. Oh, oh, damn it. Those are cliffs. Shoot. That means I'm kind of trapped. I either need to make a boat or I'm kind of stuck. And we've got hours of rain coming up. Hey, hey Jarek, how's it going?
Oh, I love the sound the rain makes on the hang glider. That's such an amazing little detail. Ah, uh, thank you, Jarek. I appreciate it. <laughs> Greeny does indeed have a very relaxing stream. Uh, yeah, they do. There's splashing going on. There is splashing going on. It also varies depending on what footwear you've got going on. Breath of the Wild was really, really detailed with all that stuff, and they seem to have stepped it up another notch or two with Tears of the Kingdom. Wilson, what's up? Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I'll g oh, it's Addison, not Bolson. Sorry. I will give him my full support as always. No wind or rain will get in my way. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Okay. That one looks reasonably easy. Whoops. How about no? How about we do that instead? Oh. <laughs> okay. Slightly trickier than I thought it was going to be. That's okay, though. We're going to stick you there. We're going to pick that up. We're going to put that vertical link. And that should hold it. Hopefully. Actually, I'm going to brace it one more bit. just to make it a little more secure. Oh, nope. nope. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I stand by the theory. Ended up crashing too long, though. Ended up sleeping well over 12 hours and your back is hating you for it. Oof. I'm sorry to hear that, man.
Yeah, I'm not sure which shield that is. Let me have a look. Uh, oh. That's the really good shield. <laughs> Let's try it with that and see how that works. Ooh, whoops. Nope, come on. A little more. Quite enough. Okay. I like that idea, though. I think that's basically the solution. We just need to shore it up a bit. Jeez. All my other contraption bits are still over here, too. That's not going anywhere now. Will he be okay? He won't fall? He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Rapid meaty mite rice balls. <laughs> ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium collection, a special gift from me to you. Thank you, sir. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. I love how craptastic the securing is after you're done with it. <laughs> Shoot, they're still flapping around over there. Ugh. There is a break in the weather coming. I might be able to do some climbing then. It doesn't look like it's too horrific here. 
Yeah, that's not gonna happen, is it? Okay. God, I'm so far away from anywhere I have mapped. Oh, shoot, they're so close. Uh, damn it. Okay, never mind. Oh, uh, you jerk. Oh, crap, that actually took a lot of health off. Oh, that's swim speed up. I was hoping it was run speed. Oh, God, not you guys, too. Got away. Ah, oh, shoot. Yes, this is. Oh, I don't want to go through there. The rain's almost over. That's not going to work. Okay. We will go around the harder way. is that shadow oh that's the tower wow the shadow really keeps its definition Yeah, I don't think I'd really considered how difficult it was going to be to actually pass through some of this territory and get to the village that I want to reach. Oh, don't mind if I do. Another golden apple. Crap, these guys are mounted. I'm almost getting the impression that maybe I shouldn't be in this area. <laughs> Just had an idea. Let's 
Excuse me. I could always take a trip up to the sky and get there that way. Oh. Or maybe it just won't get me there all the way. Okay, fine. At least it gets me up quite a bit. Oh my god, what happened to this place? Where's the city? Oh, the city's over there. Um, you know, I don't really need to go to the city right now. Like, maybe... Oh, I'm running out of stamina. Oh my god, did a dragon get diarrhea or something? No, go, oh god, no, go away. Fighting with stamina just reminded me that I have enough to get another bit of my stamina wheel back. I just have to actually get to a shrine. Also, three minutes until ads begin. I remember that place. I wonder if the Lionel is still hanging around up there. I'm assuming stepping in this crap is probably bad. Hey, a shrine. And a tower.
Oh crap, what are you? Not somebody I want to land next to. I'm gonna drop down right here so I can recover my stamina. Oh my... Mm. Are you kidding me? Game. Seriously? Actually, that's not as bad as it could be, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Alright, guys. Ads are about to begin, and I need to make some tea, so if you will bear with me, I'll be back in just a few minutes. If you need to get up yourselves, grab some food, some drinks, some snacks, whatever you gotta do, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. Actually, probably closer to seven, because uh, making tea takes a little bit of time, but I'll be right back. I forgot about these guys, too. They, uh... What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. I should probably just focus on going where I need to go instead of on murdering these guys on the bikes. Although, a little bit of bike murder is pretty fun. Sorry about that. Oh, it's a good thing I built the foundations. Minus five to hull strength. I mean, it wouldn't have destroyed anything. I don't know. Uh... Hallway? Oh. Oh, you caught up. Two of you did. Where's Lydia? Lydia, oh, there you are. Okay. Come on, Lydia. I haven't given you that much to carry. That's a lie. Yes, I have. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, sorry, guard. I hope they're not hostile now. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh. And now these guys are back. What the hell? There we go. Two for one. Gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're finished.
Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh... That's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. <laughs> You're obviously in no shape to continue the game. Not sure this is the recommended hunting approach. I know, Nobby. It's almost like it remembers that we already looted the entire place. How dare they? This, I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah, oh my. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. Uh oh, that is. I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. God damn it. Hey, who just left this here like I ought to be jealous of the nice. tower. She is more famous than I am. Why, you bastards. Get ready, here comes another one. Let's get them. Take him down. Our ammo's replenished. Go on, dump it into the enemy. Nice. A guard uniform should do nicely. But you'll need to draw him out and isolate him. Or we could just do this one. All right. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. There <laughs> oh, serves you right. I was just about to run him over, too. I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. What's a little casual arson between friends? I didn't even know that you could do this. 
You're carrying so much that you can hardly move. You'd better drop something soon. My birthday is coming up in a few weeks. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, I am back. Oh, terrible pun or dad joke. Right, okay. We can do that, Jarek. We can do that. Okay. Why did the army soldier flush the toilet? It was his duty. There you go. That's the level and quality of humor you can expect here in the Library of Lore, folks. I get to murder? Oh, there's a few of them there. Oh, there's quite a few of them there. Do I really want to murder? I'm not sure I want to murder. I think I want a shrine first. Lighting in the rain is my favorite thing. And of course, as soon as I say that, the rain ends. Thanks. This looks very much like the same area that Terrytown is in. Oh, yes, indeed. There it is. Okay. So we're just about there. That is awesome. I made it. And this will give me a handy teleport spot for when I want to get back. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. I was wondering why I was suddenly naked. Proving grounds. Vehicles. Ooh, that sounds fun. I'm not sure it sounds so fun anymore. Okay, what do we got here? Wooden stick, thick stick, bow, arrows. So I'm guessing I have to commandeer vehicles from these guys and then use them against them. There's an awful lot of them. Here's my vehicle. Nope. There's nobody here. It's fine. Go. 
Guardians of the Shrine of Light. Okay, this is fun. I have changed my mind. This is a lot of fun. He can almost overpower my vehicle. What the heck? God, flamethrower. Back. Another one down. Oh, missed. This is my kind of roller derby. I love this. Okay, we got it. Oh, this guy. Flamethrower. Boom. Oh, crap. No! Oh, damn it. I lost the flamethrower. I was gonna see if I could mount that onto my car. What happened to my steering? Oh, God. This is bad. Okay. Abandoning that for the time being. I'm gonna run. Oh, boy. No! Oh, oh, oh geez. Uh, oh crap, I have no extra food. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> Leave it to Gord to discover carry limits in games? Of course I discover carry limits in games. That's what I do. That's who I am. One of the nice things about this one is that uh, it doesn't really matter so much that I'm here earlier than I really should be. Because it takes all your equipment away anyway, and I guess aside from maybe your hearts and stamina count, all of your progression is basically equipment based anyway.
Oh boy. Splattered. Hate it when they get caught on me. Ow. Up. No, thank you, sir. No, 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 no. I have to kill the robots. This construct, this car, is so far at least my best means of doing so. I have no particular equipment at my disposal other than what it gave me. So all of my fancy armor and gear that I don't actually have yet anyway is not available to me. This guy's guarding some more fun stuff that I could augment my crap with here. Perfect. Not sure what this is meant to be, but I'm putting it there. Oh, I can't use the. F oh, wait. Gut! Thank you so much. How are you doing, sir? It's good to see you. What's going on? Thank you so much for using your Prime. Oh, that's a laser shooty thingy. Stop angling yourself. Actually, maybe 
I can go. Yeah. Ironically, people are all Switch to when in this game, which seems like the perfect example of how the Switch stuff works just came out. Yeah, well, I mean, it's the perfect example of how the Switch really should not work. <laughs> Nobody knows how exactly they were able to accomplish this. Physics in this game is just ridiculous. This is actually harder to control now. Get back here. Boom. You're dead. It does not want to stop moving now. Honestly, we don't know when the next console is coming out. I would get a Switch. Maybe get the OLED version. But the Switch is amazing. Your equipment will be returned to you. Wait. Oh, thank you. That was so heckin' cool. Now, I can't help but notice they did not open this thing up. And they've also taken away all my hard-won loot. How dare they. Oh, there's another vehicle in here? What the heck? Let's check this out. That looks climbable. Or not. Oh, that's a big boy vehicle. Look at that thing. How do you open this? This is brand new first party content for it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It might still be a few years away until we get the next iteration of a Nintendo console. Oh, and there was more stuff up there, too. Well, I didn't need it. I managed to make do. Magic Rod. Visitor to this Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Oh, I'm certain they've been working on the next console since they launched the Switch. Probably even before they started working on the uh, OLED revamp for it. It takes a long time to develop a new hardware platform. They'll have been working on that for quite a while. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. That was a fun one. I really like that shrine. This game is why I expect it'll be a bit before we actually see it, though. Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, now, what have we got here? 
Hello? Who might you be? Ah. Grantson. Hey, hi, hello. Are you ready for all your habitation dreams to come true? You're in luck. We're building dream homes. This plot will soon be a first-rate home with sweeping views of Akala. A dream home of this caliber comes with a hefty price tag, but I assure you, every rupee is well worth it. To learn more about this incredible opportunity, just head northwest to Terrytown and visit Hudson Construction. Thank you, Grantison. It's so good, Gut. It's so good. I'm loving it. This is only my second time streaming it, but the first time was the long stream of the month, and so I spent a good ten and a half hours, and that was after spending a good four and a half hours playing um, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Oh, they put up a new gateway. Look at that. New rock arch. That's nice. I mean, they probably didn't put it up. It probably plummeted from the sky. I see little remnants of Sky Island bits and bobs over here. Uh, it looks like the town is doing well. I'm very happy. Yeah, so do I, Greeny. Easy free money and food, yes. He is actually the primary source of all my income so far. I haven't really done much in the way of uh, money-making stuff otherwise. Oh, look at the shop. What the heck? Hey, I know you. What's up, sir? Break it down, son and done. Sir, have you ever regretted attaching something to your weapon or shield? That's the time to tap me, Pellison, here at the Break Apart Shop. Faster than you can blink, zip za, it'll be back to how it was before. Ah, huh? so you don't lose the thing you attached. Very nice. It just costs 20 rupees. You want to break something down? Break what now? Do you curious how I do it? I figured out how to break things apart by disassembling stuff I didn't need anymore here in my workshop. Wow. Only I, the great Pellison, am capable of this craft. If you've got something attached to something else, I can break them apart and return them to their original state. Ah. It just costs 20 rupees. No, I'm good. Thank you. Oh. Leave the disassembling to the mighty Pellison. Come back anytime. Mm. Whatever you need. Welcome to the general store operated by Hudson Construction. You'll know us by our motto, son and done. Am I right that this is your first time in our shop? No, you are not. You might remember me when I recruited you to come here in the first place, sir. Oh. Did you come because you heard we started carrying monster extract? That's right. I'm proud to be the only merchant who sells monster extract. My main business used to be useful things you can attach to arrows for a little extra oomph. But a contract of mine, or a contact of mine, helped me source monster extract, and now I have a sideline in that too. Uh. If you're interested, I can hook you up. Son and done. Mm. I'm a little disappointed that these guys have not recognized me so far. Yeah, that seems really useful. I was just thinking maybe it doesn't matter so much if you've attached a log to something else. But... If you've attached something more substantial, like a flamethrower, then that could be really, really super handy. Oh, well, well, it's been a while. Ah, finally, I'm recognized. I like the fountains. My memory isn't what it used to be, but of course I remember you. Yes, we just met over there. Or uh, maybe it was over there. Well, that's nothing for you to worry about. It certainly doesn't worry me. Yeah, you can do that, Aranor. In fact, uh, the couple of rock things in caves that I've taken down, I did with exactly that technique. Uh, I thought it might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock is giving me the creeps. I've got to hurry and find some sucker to... Hmm? Heading to the construction site, eh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. <coughs> I'll collect that for you. It's 20 rupees, no exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. 
One fee, unlimited rides, that's a bargain. <laughs> Very good, you're all set. Yes, profit, profit. Ah. The controls are simple, just give it a whack to either start or stop it. You're free to use it as you please now. What's that rock? Oh, are you interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. It's a rare rock, so I stole, I mean, I took it as a memento. But if you're interested, I would consider selling it for you a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? Rock for sale. Shrine quests, interesting. Hey, what are you doing? I'm of the opinion that the residents of Hyrule have the memories of goldfish. Actually, it's funny you should say that. Goldfish actually remember better than people think they do. Probably better than your average streamer. Are you trying to sell random junk for outrageous prices again? Look at that thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60, no, 50 rupees a more than fair price. But I already said an absolutely fair price. And he might have. Okay, no need for the stern wife look. <sighs> well, what do you say? It's a real deal at just... Just 50 rupees. What? He's actually going to buy this weird rock I found? It's my lucky day. That's great. You have a good eye, sir. This is definitely a very valuable rock, so you've made a wide purchase. Wise purchase. And now this rock belongs to you. No refunds. Ah. I'll place it in the back for whenever you're ready to take it to its new home. <laughs> Goldfish aren't bird brains. That's right. Okay, so what are we going to do with this thing? Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so and I will offer you a light that banishes evil. Interesting. I don't think I'm ready to do that just yet, but... Oh, I see one of the little thingamabobbers down there. Hey, no. I want the tomatoes. Thank you. Come on, Link. There we go. Why run around the easy way when you can be difficult about it? Oh, it's these guys. Okay, surely they will remember me. Oh. Just yesterday she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it? Though I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Mm. Manari told me that Madison has been acting real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Oh. Please, if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. This is a once-in-a-lifetime journey for a Gerudo. We should support her and give her a grand send-off. Mm. You're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Huh? Ah, a customer. Wow. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's no surprise. Our unique modular building style lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry, we're still not ready to open for business. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's you. Okay, finally. Oh. Look who it is. It sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Terrytown is doing real good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. Oh, no. <laughs> My little Madison. Hudson, you've got to get it together. Sorry, I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. I'm going back to work now, Ronson. But don't worry. I'll think of something nice to do for Madison. Madison's independence. I have enough cats to tell you. Cats are the ones you have to worry about with regards to short memory. Ronson and Hudson, the owners of Hudson Construction. This married couple runs the company that has been key to projects during the long reconstruction of Hyrule, including the creation of Lookout Landing and the Skyview Towers. Hudson has unparalleled skill as a builder, and together with the Gerudo tailor Ronson, they helped found Terrytown. They also have a daughter named Madison. Oh. 
Sorry, we aren't ready to open for business yet. It's a shame we're so busy too. After all, we haven't seen you for such a long time. But right now, my husband and I must prepare to send our daughter off. Oh. That's the company storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something is blocking it inside. If that's the company storehouse, you'd think that'd be more of a priority for them. Or maybe they just rely on this. Sab Sabah. Ah, oh, it's Madison. I've got so much to learn. I've got to pay close attention to my less sons. Boys are vi and girls are vo? Wait, that's wrong, isn't it? Oh, we can't even get downstairs from here. Wow. Can we climb upwards? Do you have that flow thingy, but for down, not up? No, unfortunately, it's upwards only. There is only ascend, not descend. Although, no, that all looks like it goes just into Madison's rooms upstairs. Okay. Now, oh. oh. Truxen. So you got a chance to talk with President Hudson, huh? I was just out here waiting my turn to go chat with him. But I ended up falling asleep. I came to help clear out the Zonai devices and ruins that fell all over the workshop. Heard they could use a hand. But I'm still pretty tired. Think I'll take a little, another little nap before I introduce myself. Now, if there happens to be a cave or some other way to get underneath... Maybe I could use a send. It doesn't really look like it so far, though. Well, I do have a rail car, but that doesn't seem like it would be terribly useful at the moment. I might be wrong about that, of course. But it's not an obvious solution to the problem. If it is a solution, it's a less obvious solution. Is there a well nearby? Maybe one with multiple wells inside, like a closet with more closets in it. That's a good question. Oh, I needed this. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. I want stamina, please. An important item that restores some of the stamina you lost to the gloom, increasing the size of your stamina wheel. 152 shrines, that's amazing. I love it. And that's just until we get DLC. I don't see a well, although there is this. I don't remember this from Breath of the Wild. What is this? Sale pending for Mr. Kilton. That's a very underwhelming cave, I've got to say.
So that'd be 152 shrines you'd have to do. <laughs> All right, well, um, it looks like they might have gotten rid of the inn. There used to be an inn where these guys had their shops. Oh, maybe they just relocated it. Looks like this is it. Capson is still here. Ah, uh, customer, how interesting that you should arrive at this particular time. To seek me out at such an hour, if I may dare to assume, you must be a Hillian of the diurnal, diurnal variety, yes? Okay, this guy's fairly old. Maybe his eyes are going. Maybe he has an excuse for not recognizing me. Oh. This is a village where many different folks gather. I offer pleasant sleep to all, regardless of their rank or where they come from, by the mercy of the goddess Ilia. Oh, humble servant led here by destiny, are you in need of a place of respite? A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. A water bed costs 30 rupees. No, I'm good. I don't have the money to be throwing it out on random beds. Oh, this couple is still here. Ruli and I don't know who that is, but... I think she was sick in Breath of the Wild, and I never did actually finish that sub-quest. Or maybe they're all just chill with Link randomly disappearing for years at a time. That could be. You might be right. That seems to mostly be it for here. Let's check out this conveyance machiney thingy. That's a technical term. Grayson, son and done. Hey, it's rare to have visitors at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Terrytown? If you're going there, the rail car right in front of you should come in handy. <laughs> it's a suspended cart that'll take you from this workshop to Terrytown, like son and done. It's President Hudson's pride and joy. It doesn't cost anything to use, so use it whenever you like. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything to use. Wow. So he's really ripping you off up there. If you want to move or stop the rail car, just strike it directly. Mm. Lately, folks have been into affixing decorations to weapons and shields and such. Turns out most of them can't deconstruct what they've done, so my brother Pellison started a business to do it for them. Oh. He gets it done, son and done. Give it a shot sometime. <laughs> wow, Erinor. Wow, they've really done a lot with this area. What is going on over here? I like the looks of this. They're everywhere. What could be powering the Zonai devices? Could there really be a tiny spirit inside? No, that doesn't seem likely. Ah. Ah, apologies. I was lost in thought. The Zonai devices here all fell from the sky. I've surveyed various... Re oh my god, look at the size of those frickin' wheels. Damn. I've surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quantity anywhere but Terrytown. Mm. My research into practical application is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilization for a long time. Have you been biding your time? To us Zonai-obsessed research team members, this place is a paradise. Ah. You're free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Hmm. For so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production? On the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? A 
Oh, we're coming back here a lot. I'm so glad I did that trying and got the teleport spawn. Furnison, this isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we'd get to drive a vehicle like no one's seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control? What kind of fools do you take us for? Uh... You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of the Zonai devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true. We haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. The uh... so what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Hmm. You found nothing among these Zonai devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. no. None of the devices we found here in Terrytown work. Ah. Hey, 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 I'm standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit-chat. Didn't you say those Zo thingamabobs are... That's a technical term, by the way. Are from the Age of Legends? You trying to tell me something that old and run down is still useful? Please. Oh. We did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her right as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shabon? Oh. Hmm. Fine. If Tali wants to help, then help is what we'll do. Master the vehicle prototype. Okay, however, before we get too entranced by these very tempting looking massive vehicles of awesomeness. I spotted one of those. Uh, yeah, that thing. The dispensers. I need to check it out. I don't think I've actually got a lot to stick in it, but we can try. Are you interested in this too? Look at this. It seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. But what is it, and where did it fall from? Secrets Within. Um... Yeah, I might not actually have anything to put in this thing. I can put it in... I guess I could do a few. <laughs> wow! That was more than I was expecting. Huh? That's what those things are? There are Zonai devices inside this thing? I think, yes. I actually think this might possibly be a truly amazing discovery. Probably. And contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Terrytown. Kakariko Village in Nakluta, south of here, has one. And there's one in the southwest, too, at Dig Dog Bridge near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Uh... Could it be that the types of Zonai devices inside each area's contraption are different? Uh... Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel the need to ceremonially reward you for your big discovery. A wild plant that grows in the sun at high altitudes. Soaked in sunlight, its petals can restore health depleted by gloom when used in cooking. That's handy to know about. Ah. I found it while investigating some fallen ruins. It's rare and was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties are something of a mystery. But there's a research team studying the plant in Kakariko Village. That's to the south of here in Nekluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Ah. Anyway, I'm off to more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again.
Steering Stick, a Zonai device that can control direction when attached to a conveyance. It'll activate all connected Zonai devices at once. Balloon, big wheel, steering stick, fan, steering stick, steering stick, big wheel, rocket. Oh, okay. A Zonai device that produces powerful thrust. It packs a punch but burns out quickly. Small wheel. There we go. Nice. That was worth a few charges. That was really cool. Gonna be a rocket man. Yes. Well, we know from Kerbal Space Program, the answer is always more rockets. Speaking of... Ah, here's a question you might be able to answer, Greeny. If you've got one of these thingies, do they always disappear after a certain amount of use, or can you make them permanent in some way? Also, we've got about three minutes until my next break. Have a time limit from everything you've seen? Oh, that's unfortunate. these things here. Wait, these are capacitors, right? Interesting. Okay. You found a... Yeah, oh yeah, I was actually there for that, Greeny. I remember that. I've seen them in other people's games. Now, I wonder, if you were to build one of these flying doohickeys into something like, say, a car, I wonder if it would still disappear. Or if it only disappears if you're flying it. OK. 
Katamari. Yeah, basically. It makes it easier to transport stuff. Although I probably should have taken the precaution of just attaching everything to the same piece of equipment so that it's easy to disassemble it all. But I can still get a lot of it by making that happen. Yep. This is a good time for me to take that next break. Ads are going to be starting shortly. So if you guys need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time. I'll meet you back here in about three and a half to four minutes. Not sure where that boat went. I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. Deal a total of 6,500 or more damage? What did I just walk into? Well, this is off to a good start. Oh, buddy is over there. Nope. No, sir. No. No. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Oh, my. <laughs> uh. Well. <laughs> A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well, Starfield's gonna come out and every other game in existence is going to stop. Big. Clearly, I need to rethink my addition of anti gravity mods. I was also looking at Star Citizen. Maybe you'll try that next week. Very nice, Jim. I've been having fun with it so far, even though I've never left this city, let alone this planet. So, this is my fancy ship that I got with my old AMD R9 video card that I actually started streaming using. And then a few years ago, I upgraded to the 1080 and haven't uh, used it since. But I got this ship at the same time that I got that card. This is a racing ship. It has no cargo capacity at all. So it, it would be very difficult to try to make any money with this. Although, it might be possible to manually stuff some cargo in the back there, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's about that. Seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, Nibby. You got five great balls from Blue. All of your family loses. Okay, I'm back. Where'd I put the game? There it is. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so what have I got now? I have fans, flame emitters, portable pots. I've learned, by the way, that 
portable pots are potentially more useful than I gave them credit for originally. It turns out they may have only one use in cooking, but there may in fact be other uses for them in construction. So potentially very interesting things there. And it kind of looks like maybe it's the stabilizer that you use with them. I'll have to see how that all works out. A perfectly balanced Zonai device which stands upright when activated. It was used to secure footholds in unstable places such as Sky Islands. Yeah, I think they probably go together. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Greeny. Big wheel. Small wheel. I've got five wheels and five steering sticks. Very nice. Okay. not actually attached. Okay, so this looks mostly unattached. Um, so how did they do... Okay, so they just attach... They don't really do the axle concept then. <laughs> Interesting. Only axle you need is Rose. Wow. Now, do they give you any control points just lying about randomly? And lots of wheels. I like this thing. This is really cool. There's a few, there's, or at least there's one rocket. There's some fans. Oh, what are these? Nice. I like it. So I guess to solve this particular little mini quest I need to stick a control thingy on there and they're not gonna just give me one are they at least not in this immediate area probably got to go out somewhere else well the rockets seem like they would be better suited for another purpose though Greeny. not for a car I mean maybe a golf cart would make sense but a car I don't know So I've effectively recreated this, except, wait, oh, that's facing the different direction than I thought it was. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe... We'll do that. Yeah, I saw that you did that. Thank you, Aaron North. That's really cool. Yes, I was very happy about that, Greenie. Easier ways to influence the point at which it attaches. I mean, I guess there kind of is actually. What happens if you put a flamethrower on the battery? I don't know. I've never used a battery before. I've seen people find them. I've seen people install them. I've probably seen people use their vehicles with them installed, but I don't really understand the effect yet beyond the general concept of what batteries typically do. I don't know if it extends, like you've got your own sort of battery pack on your uh, on your belt that is apparently upgradable. I think Greeny was talking about that last night a little bit. But beyond that, I'm not really certain. Like, I don't know the specifics of how it ties in, how it augments the power, what the you know, ultimate effect is. Because flames make it look cooler if they keep splitting, spitting flames. Yes, that's true. Uh, okay, I can sacrifice one of these for the quest. Come on. Now, the wheels are going that away. So, presumably, we want it right about there. Hey, now. That vehicle is a prototype. Please do not touch. Hold on. Ah. What? Incredible. Just just look at it. It's perfect. I have no doubt that Zonai device was made for steering. Ah, so sorry for shouting. Mm. Are you new to Hudson Construction? My name is Ferguson. I'm collaborating with Hudson on a Zonai device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. But more importantly, this Zonai device of yours. It seems like it could be used for steering things, doesn't it? Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? I don't get it. That weird thing is going to make that huge contraption move? Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Quickly, I must see. Ah, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Mm. Let's see. Hmm, I think I flip the switches here and here, and yes. Ah. Ta-da! It's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them, so here's what I'd like you to do. 
Touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that and we'll call the test drive a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly, but if this device works, <laughs> we'll have built another new vehicle and, that, and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like you to give it a try. Yeah. Then let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. Oi. Now, let me quickly remind you of the rules. It's simple, really. Just touch all of the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. What? Oh, and don't let go of the steering device or go too far off the course. We can't get the driving data we need if you do that. <laughs> Finally, things are getting interesting around here. You better believe I'll be keeping a close eye on your technique. Mm. Hurry. This actually controls pretty nicely. Which is nice because this is the same basic design as the one I built myself. <laughs> they gave me three minutes for that? <laughs> what? I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah. Ooh, technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tally? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Eh? We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out this Zonide device's full capabilities. And, ah, I'm counting on you to help me out. Here, please consider this a down payment. <laughs> You're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Nice. Ah. It's a sleepover ticket for a stable. The closest one to here is probably South Akala Stable. Oh. Head straight down that road. You can't miss it. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you're ex as excited about it as I am. See, the vehicle is up and running, so don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Terrytown race project, and finally I can do just that. I mean, it's no Formula One, but it was good. The thanks now go to sleep at this specific stable is totally not suspicious. <laughs> now it's time for me to start preparing a test course. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. The Terrytown Race. Hmm, yes, I am looking forward to it. Oh. Now, I don't suppose I can steal my steering column back. <laughs> it looks like I can. That's amazing. Now, let's see how this affects... Oh, God. It just wants to go. I don't even have to push forward, it'll just go on its own. This is really nice. Hey Mio, thank you. I just built it. It doesn't offer much in the way of luxurious protection from attack, but it's a uh, work in progress. 
Oh, I see. The battery is draining one at a time. Okay. I assume once they're both drained, it'll start to drain from the one on my belt. And that'll probably go down fairly quickly. Now, do they recharge over time is my next question. That was what I was wondering, Aaron Lar. They do not, so once they're dead, you just take them off and toss them? That's unfortunate. That seems like prime candidate for DLC content. Now, there's got to be a tower around here. Let's see how it does off-roading. Oh, crap. There's things there. Oh. oh, you don't even have to take them off. They just die. Okay. Fair enough. All right, I'm going to park that there. I'll just climb up the rest of the way. In a hurry, because it looks like we've got rain. Damn it, I was supposed to have more time. Where did that rain come from? Or just suffer, yes. So close yet so far. Also, I spotted that. Where is it? Oh, over that way. It looks like different terrain types might affect your ability to climb in the rain. The rock is nearly impossible, but the grass is actually quite doable. certain definitions of the word doable. Unfortunately, there's just not enough grass there. I'm going to have to wait till it stops raining, which it should do any moment. Yes, it does. Actually, if you uh, look on the Discord, I was watching Ash Monster play this the other day, and she was unaware of the effects of lightning and metal gear. So she has a very similar clip to one I had. Did you come out to see the Skyview Tower? Sorry, you stopped by at a rough time. What's the matter? That flying monster took the terminal from the Skyview Tower, you jerk. Good grief, that sticky-clawed terror has a habit of stealing things. 
I'll never fix the Skyview Tower at this rate. Okay, so we have to murder the stick, the the monster then. Yes, Metal Gear. Murdered. Aracuta wing. A large, wide Aracuta wing. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached, even in a slight wind. Aracuta eyeball. This eyeball is constantly trying to focus on its targets. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir or attach it to an arrow to grant a homing quality. Nice. So now you know how it feels not to spoil someone on metal in a lightning storm, even knowing exactly what will happen. Yes, it was fun. Mister, you got the tower's terminal back. Ah. Let's install it in the Skyview Tower. No time to waste. <laughs> You're about to have a shocking surprise. I'll tighten this and done. There, that's not going anywhere, even if a monster is real determined. Oh. I couldn't have done it without you. I really appreciate it. Oh, I'm more than several hours in at this point, Mio. I'm, what, like four and a half hours today and ten and a half hours the other day? I, I'm loving it. It's so much fun. Breath of the Wild was a masterpiece. This is significantly better than that. Yes, choosing Greeny. I could go a lot faster and stick to the main story if I wanted to. I have no desire to whatsoever. Surface map updated. Fifty nine minutes twenty two seconds. Damn, Aranor. I'm just experiencing the game. Yeah, that's that's it exactly, Miho. I'm kind of on a sightseeing tour, visiting places that I remember from Breath of the Wild. I haven't even gone back to the Sky Islands, and I haven't ventured. I've gone to a few caves, but I have not gone to the Underdark yet. And yes, I'm gonna refer to it as the Underdark a lot. So, sky map updated. Ooh, okay. I wonder how difficult or easy it will be to ultimately get back to my vehicle. Where the heck is the tower? Oh, that looks like Terrytown. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 gimme. Star Fragment. A mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. Its gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. Nice. Okay. Tower, tower, tower. I'm not going to find the tower again, am I? Shoot. 
Where did I go? Where did I park? Oh, I'm, oh, wow, I'm right here. Let's see if I can land on the control spot. Pretty close. Not quite, but close. Come on, Link. Oh, this is awkward. Alright, we'll go forwards then. Whoops! That was not what I had in mind. In Ash Monsters terminology, Aaron Lord, the big red bloom thing is a butthole, and that is one of your primary paths down into the Underdark. It's a gigantic chasm that leads down below. I'm just waiting for Gord to make a mechanical horse, not a car, a mechanical horse. But why would I do that when I can make cars? I mean, not that I'm a car guy particularly, but why would I make a mechanical horse? Now, I do like Aaron Lore's idea. And that ad sounds pretty cool. But that would be more of a mechanical elephant. I'm suddenly glad I'm not standing on a big metal plate. As much as I enjoyed that. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. Okay, so riding in a vehicle does not absolve you of the responsibility of not having metal stuff. Oh, come on, Link. Crap. I need a ladder to get into my car. Oh, there it goes. Oh, shoot. That doesn't look like it's going to work very well. Yeah, okay. So there are limits to how effective these things can be on rough terrain. Fair enough. We need a Zelda Mako. Oh. That is an excellent idea. If my car does not despawn and disappear after I get out of this shrine, we will have to see if we can make that happen. Fireproof lizard. Instead of throwing yourself at enemies over and over to no avail. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient... Ooh, that's an idea, Greeny. Oh, this is another one? Outside equipment is forbidden? Okay. Proving Grounds The Hunt. We'll have to see if I enjoy this one. Oh, oh, I know this one. I watched Ash Monster do this one, which does not necessarily mean that I'm going to have a lot of success with it, but we'll see. Huh. 
You've done this one? Nice. Oh. Oh, right. I, oh, crap. Uh, that's awkward. I need a, do I need a weapon to start these things up? Yes, I do. Get him. Get him. Good boys. Drone, yes. Well, these are pretty awesome drones, to be fair. Okay. Pro tip. Hide around the corner and watch from safety. You can fuse just about anything. Yeah, I've noticed that with all the ingredients, they've all got a fuse damage bonus, which typically seems to be about one. So most things you probably don't want to bother unless maybe there's special effects, which, you know, we can play with maybe at some point. Probably later in the game when I've got more stuff to play around with and not need. Drony, get him. Ooh, that's a rough spot to be in. Oh, crap. No. You will not escape my Roombas of death. Drony, I am disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ow. <laughs> okay, Roombas of Death. Please do not kill me. Save that for the big boys. Time for me to disappear. If you're still on later, you'll be back. Excellent, Aranthar. Don't admire your own work. I'm not sure I agree with that entirely, but at least don't be visible while you admire your own work. Oh no, Droney. That's just unfair. Uh, well, the one is still going pretty strong. Still okay. Okay, I'm going to have to take advantage of this distraction. Oh, God. The distraction was not quite enough. I was almost there, though. I almost added a flame unit. I was just about to complain that I wished you could uh, skip that. And lo and behold, there is a skip button. What the heck? AMZ! Oh, this game is so good, AMZ. It's good to Afternoon. see you. Afternoon. Well, it looks like you're having some good fun. As always. Indeed. How are you, AMZ? I hope all is well. Oh, crap. Not so fast, sir. I need that. Thank you. Sikkim Roomba.
Oh, no. Get him. There you go. Was walking in the wasteland earlier, but I think I'm headed to Beaverton. Timberborn, nice. That's a real town in Oregon. Very cool. Okay. I love that they have a shrine that's just playing battle bots, basically. not good. Oop. They're close to me. Oh, shoot. Soldier Construct Two Horn. Oh, ooh. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't as helpful as I was hoping it would be. Doesn't look right. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, you jerk. I was doing so good. You like the Tron-esque music? Yes. It's pretty good. <sighs> okay, we did a lot better that time. This is a fun one.
Sorry. Oh no! That's terrible! Roomba! Oh, I'm toast. That was a good hit. Oh, no arrows left. Shoot. Oh no. I didn't think you were still there. That's unfortunate. Okay, though, it looks like Roombas are winning.
Laser Roomba enters the fray. Laser Roomba is shooting backwards. Oh! Oh god. That hint is the closest thing I've used to a green lantern ring in gaming. I mean, you're not wrong. Damn it! Oh no! Two minute warning, guys. Two minutes, I have to take a break. <laughs> this one took me a few tries. This is what you did? Yeah. <laughs> I already did, Jarek. But if somebody else wants to as well, and maybe get the timing good on it, that would be great. Ugh. Get him. It's over now, sir. I have muscle. Sharp, pointy, spiky muscle. There you go. Now, the problem is Laser Roomba was very poorly designed by me. I stuck the laser on backwards, so it was hard for him to aim and dangerous for me to approach. So I need to take my break now. This is a pretty good time to do it. If you guys can bear with me, if you need to get up and grab a snack or some drinks or whatever, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll be back in just a few. Get back here. No, don't get back here. What the fuck? Okay, I wasn't expecting the song. <laughs>
There we go. And he nails the finish. Spider-Man does it again. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. You will be safe, man. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Your move. Oh my. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the magic. Why does it do tricks? Whoa. <laughs> um, oops. That was maybe not my best move. It just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. There were two? Rude. Ow. Fine. Bone hammer it is. Oh god, this is so slow. <laughs> Tabletops have the best return for me so far. For me, I think it's gotta be Rimworld. Oh my- Time till detonation. Oh. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Greenie. That's why I always got confused with this thing. Wait a second. Okay. Oh, shoot. No. Okay. I get it now. I understand. 
I assumed it was facing forward. Both pieces are actually facing towards the center of the room. So I get it. I get it. Spiky thing is the tail? Okay, I didn't know that, actually. I'd been wondering about that, Greeny. Thank you. Okay, now I know how to put that one together and not die. Which I really need to do, because that one is so powerful. I need those lasers on my truck. Assuming my truck is still there. Of course. I kind of half expect it to be gone when I get out of the shrine. Back towards the entrance. Oh. Oh, that's Andy. Thank you. Get him. You get him, too. Uh, really? Here, let me help. Now get him. Yes, that it does make it quite a bit easier. Thank you. I wish they were better at coordinating so that the one's not attacking the other, but okay. I need a fleet of these that I can store on board my truck. Okay, so good. We're getting the distraction factor going. Oh, and now they're working in parallel. Perfect. Ooh, good. They're drawing them out. I think it's time for me to make my move. Oh. That's a little unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I may have done things a little too quickly here. Engaged again with the do oh, dronies. No, 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 See if I can get them to forget about me for a little while. Oh. Not right on the so oh, jeez, nope, come on. Oh crap. have done that one, but I want to get this guy up and running. 
preferably with dual weaponry if possible. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, God. Get him. Not the smartest tool in the shed. But if we get some of them down here, it'll be a terror. drones fell. I'm going to make a run for this one. Now I gotta remember, don't flip them around. In fact, just go this way. Close enough, that'll work. Get him. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Nice. Very cool. Now what is that? Oh, that's a, wow, that's a freaking cannon. Okay. Thank you, Greeny. And I still gotta watch out for that guy. I think I'm gonna turn you off. Oh, shoot. That's true, Greeny. That is true. And as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> oh, the spike. Oh, the spiky balls. Magic Scepter of Ouch is now, I believe, what you would call this. Captain Three Spear. Uh, I think we can ditch this one. Visitor to this Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. 
You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. That was fun. That was really fun. All right, let's see. Do I still have a car? It kind of looks like I don't. I figured as much. That sucks. First time that I killed all of them, you forgot about the laser Roomba. It killed me. Oh, no. That sucks. I'm so sorry. Oh, what's that down there? Oh, we have a lot of uh, angry guys. But they're guarding pieces of things. supposed to do that. I'm here to murder you, not the other way around. Oh, you know what? I have another fun weapon to try out, don't I? Where did I put you? Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, da damn it. <sighs> when I actually successfully completed it, I had also run straight into a spiky ball that left me with a quarter of a heart. You barely survived. Okay, I need a rematch against these guys. Oh, there's a stable right here. And a Korok. But we'll get back to the Korok sometime. He's not in any hurry. South Akala Stable. Okay, so that's on my map. I don't actually need to go there right away. Thank you, Greeny. I think I did it pretty right there with the one minor issue that I also kind of murdered myself. Oh, no. Um. Uh, 
From up high, it is... Oh, right, battery. Now, since it's using battery, does that mean that when I fire it, I don't actually wear it down at all? Because that's cool, if so. Holy crap. How far away am I going to have to be to actually hit these guys? Oh, I think I did some damage there. Yeah, you're no kidding, it's got range. They can't even find me. Oh, whoops. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm still not sure I'm actually hitting. This is wild. I love this. Now, here's a thought. What happens if you mount this on a vehicle? Does it just fire continuously? It has reload time, okay. Still, that can't be good for your battery. It is really tricky to aim this, isn't it? I don't think I've taken one of them out yet. there. Maybe? Hard to determine. I'm disappointed the car vanished, though. That kind of discourages you from building really awesome things. Is there a way to make them persistent? How do you mean, sort of? I already know about the blueprint thing. It's not quite as good, but I mean, I guess I don't really know the details about how that works. Do you have to be in a location that has every single item you need to build your thing?
Oh, no, really? Okay, well, if that's the case, then maybe that's about as good as I need. We'll have to see. I'll get that ability eventually. We'll get back on the main story probably next time I stream this. Let's see how it goes. My god, the range on this is ridiculous. I'm going to probably have to wade back in there and see how I've done so far with my uh, Mace of Doom. Or the Flame Emitter Club, maybe. You can create without having the items if you have enough... Oh, enough Zonite to pay for it. Okay. Caveat being that you have to have the items to create it once in the first place. Yeah. Okay. God, I still haven't managed to kill any of them. Now, have I managed to damage any of them is the next question. That's a no. I never damaged them once with all of those missiles or cannon shot or whatever. This is a fun weapon, though. I'll give it that. Oh, you've got fire, too? That's cheating. Nothing to burn? You're kidding me. Pause for just one moment, please. Oh my god. No! Soldier Construct Two Horn. Gimme. 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 Okay, I just disconnected from chat for a moment, so I might have missed a few things. Last thing I saw was your thing about the caveat, Greeny. Not what I wanted. That one. Oh, dead battery. That was the last one? Okay, good. I think it's going to take some practice to make use of that rocket launcher. Oh, you've got a bow. No wonder you're not already dead. Nice. 
Not so fast, sir. Ow. Wow. I think he just one-shot me. I don't know that healing was really an option there. Hey, sketchy. Uh, I think we might skip that battle this time. I'll have to take them out another time. Fun things you completely forgot about? What's that? Oh yeah, I know I know about dying. I don't think I ever really bothered in Breath of the Wild. I'm not certain at all that I will bother this time around either. But we'll see. Maybe. I actually know one of the customizations you can do to the paraglider. If you go to a certain place that I don't quite remember, it is possible to get the original paraglider canvas from Breath of the Wild back again, which is pretty awesome. Okay, we gotta make the Mark II now. Now one thing I'm very curious about is I wonder if the weight of the materials that you use has an impact on the performance of the vehicle that you build. Gleok on it? Very nice. viable is it to make a car that also traverses water? It is possible. Excellent. I don't think I'm going to attempt that right now. Like, we're going to recreate the thing that I made earlier. Whoops. Just need fans? Yeah. All I will say is power to weight ratios do come into play. Yep, I kind of figured they would. So I would probably not want to use a stone bottom if I wanted to make a submersed or um, an aquatic car then. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, sir. Impressive, isn't it?
Now, theoretically, the batteries should be back. Yeah, they are. And, oh. Um, do I actually still have any... anything okay no vending machine for me yet we might have to go back up into the sky eventually or you know take it more seriously the whole defeating those guys and collecting all their bits <sighs> okay. <laughs> Wheels are all going the right way. Looks like it. Now, where the heck are we actually going? That's another good question. Uh, so this oh they still have the uh they still have the labyrinths that's fun why the wood plank on the back it's um it's not much but it's a little bit of defense from things that might be behind me trying to shoot at me if i had more of a similar height i would probably put them like right up along the front and back as well. It's faster than walking. Also, I didn't have the accelerator on. That was just its neutral speed. Where is the road? Nowhere near the road. Okay. Oh, okay. It's on the mini map. I can see it.
There goes one battery. Now, I don't suppose batteries are a thing that you can randomly pull out of those vending machines, are they? That could be fun. <laughs> this is so great. Oh god, that's not so great. Oh boy. Uh <laughs> I need you to go away, sir. Monster forces, marauders of Akala. Okay, you're out of the way. Thank you, Sketchy. Ow. See? Sorry, Fox. Now that wooden plank, very, very helpful. <laughs> that was so much fun. I love this. Hi, what's up? Sava Sava. Ooh. It seems that a large number of monsters have taken control of the Akala span up ahead. You don't say. I'm on my way to investigate now. If it's something I can take care of myself, then I'll just wipe them out before the monster control crew gets there. Well, they're a little weaker now than they were. Good luck to you. Okay. <laughs> A new form of hunting as well, apparently. Exactly sketchy. What's up, sir? Where's your friend? Aw, oh, my friend and I got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Come on, buddy. I'll give you a lift. Huh. 
Nope. Nope. Okay. This is awkward as hell to turn around, I will say. crash through trees with it. That's a shame. Okay, you know what? We'll just walk the rest of the way. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Oh, <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> Not what I had in mind. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Yeah, that was a little awkward, but we got there in the end. survived. Sorry about that. Whoa! Ooh. Okay, some of these roads are not built for my car. I'm gonna blame the roads, not my car. thinking about putting a roof on this thing too. <laughs> I overheard some great info on Misko's treasure. Oh, Misko's back at it again in this one. That's fun. And it looks like you overheard me. Perfect. This is so juicy. I've got to share. You've heard of Misko's treasure, the famous bandit's huge clothing collection. The story goes that Misko hid it in caves all throughout the land. Just the thought gets my fashion-loving heart pounding. Oh. I heard the story from a pair of treasure-hunting brothers I've met near Foothill Stable. If you want to know more, why not go talk to them? Foothill Stable is north of here. Uh, which stable is it that I have? South Akala. I guess that's it. Okay, so I don't know Foothill Stable yet. That's okay. I'm not in a rush. I actually want to get back towards um, 
Castle Hyrule and all that area. Maybe start working outwards with the... With the, what you call it, the map. Oh. So, fellow traveler, what are you searching for on your journey? My passion is finding geoglyphs. They're enormous pictures that have been drawn on the ground. When they were drawn and who, by, and how, the mysteries abound. I heard tell of a geoglyph in this area, but it refuses to show itself. Hmm. Not for the first time, I'm wishing I had wings like a bird. Then I could scout it out from the sky. friend what's up all right what are we looking at here oh he's got a double sign this time okay I might have to back up here a little bit nope back back it up I need room to work there we go of an issue. I'm gonna have to brace it so it sits a little squarer. Let's see how that one works. No, we need the one. The one more. No. Well, we'll see if that works. I'm not sure that's quite what I had in mind. Oh, actually, that 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 should do it. Letting go. Ah! How's the president standing? Ah! That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Have a great ah. night, Greenie. Thank you so much for hanging out. Just put this right here. Get that fashioned and... Or fastened. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. This guy should be a chef instead of a builder. He's not really good at the building thing, but his food seems really good. Ah! Uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection, a special gift from me to you. Ah. All right. <laughs> Now we can be off again. Huh? 
Oh, that thing is still around, is it? Okay. Okay, so we're definitely heading back in the right direction. Have a fantastic evening, Mio. It was good to see you. Hope you have a great night. Link could certainly use a uh, a roof. Ooh. Uh oh. What am I using? Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, we're good otherwise. Had a feeling it was going to rain. Well, it actually tells you. It actually tells you. You still have the Breath of the Wild little weather meter thing. stuff isn't adding too much weight. Oh, looks like we're about to take our last break for the evening, and holy crap, how is it already after six? So I'll be back in just a few minutes, folks. getting there. Two-thirds. I wonder how bad it would be if I were to actually start the engine. Oh. Whoop. Whoops. Oh. 
What are you doing in my house? That's my house. I'll look for you, friend. When at last you return to Shaw's Hall. The honor will be ours when you rejoin the ranks of Sovereign God. This is so freaking cool. I love it. When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so. And I will send you back. Return now to me. With this rich boon from shore, my lord. <laughs> Okay, did I miss something? Why is Serana murdering me? This has been a very quiet level so far. It makes me very suspicious. Well. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. As we begin this chapter of our story, we find you, Roger, Ace Janitor, doing what you do best. A beep emanates from your wristwatch. You release your grip on the broom. The broom floats away, never to be used again. That makes the third one this week. Wait till your boss finds out. Oh, that's the ISS Enterprise F, I believe. Or is that the F or the E? No, that's definitely Odyssey class. Okay, I am back. Thank you, Sketchy. Ah, there's a bridge up ahead. Okay, excellent. a little bit dodgy. Oh boy. Can I make it? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. I need to rescue my car. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. God. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, at least the essentials were not flammable. <laughs> Well, I mean, it lasted until the rain was gone. We've got that going for us. I mean, it's going to start raining again shortly. <laughs> oh my god, this game. I love it so much.
Did you see? Please tell me you saw that, Aranor. Oh, I wonder if I'll fit. Can we get across here? Oh, who might you be? Hang on a second here. Ah, Link, we meet again. Have you found any clues as to where Princess Zelda might be? Lady Impa believes she has found a source of information that might help in the search for Princess Zelda. Oh, uh, I've got it clipped. Don't worry, Aaron Lar. I basically, I had to run past one of those, uh, you know, the, the enclaves of the Guardian things. And I had built up my car all very nice with a roof and some defensive sides and stuff. But it was all made of wood. And one of the Guardians had a flamethrower. So, yeah, all the wood got torched. Lady Impa believes she has found a source of information that might help in the search for Princess Zelda. Ooh. I'd suggest you go meet with Lady Impa. She should be at the New Serene Stable in North Hyrule Plain. I'm trying to reach her myself, but I'm sorry to say that I'm so bad with directions I haven't gotten there yet. I hope to get there soon, though, so forgive me if I excuse myself. So I'm left with just this. I suppose I could rebuild it. The materials are all right here. Oh, hey. Hello, sir. What do you need now? Well, I don't have the option. There's lots of wood around, at least. Ah! Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. I really should redouble my support. So what do we got here? Okay. I think I see how we can do this one. No problem, Aaron Lar. Whoops. That's not going to do it. Hmm. Here comes the rain again. Like one more piece might be necessary that's a little too loose. Actually, it'll probably work as it is, but I would like to be a little more secure with it. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. 
Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. Puff shroom, that's new. A mushroom that spreads a cloud of fine spores when a stimulus is applied. The bitter powder makes them inedible. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. I gotta admit, I'm kinda tempted to put my roof back on. That was not the one I wanted. Give me this, please. Thank you. Mm, that's not going to work, actually. But it's fine for transport. Here's the fourth one.
I like that I finished doing the roof work as soon as the rain stopped. I need a weapon. I kind of don't want to waste the really good ones. Goblin horn. There we go. Oh, hello there. Are you a traveler too? My name is Savre. I'm a wandering chef. I wander from place to place searching caves for uniquely delicious ingredients. As we both seem to be like-minded explorers, you're welcome to use my cooking pot whenever you like. Ah. Oh, and I bet the things I've learned in my cave searches could come in handy on your journey. Mind if I share? Caves are chock full of valuable ores and ingredients. They're like nature's treasure chests. If you're not savvy to the joys of a good cave, you're not traveling to the fullest. Hmm. For instance, um, there's an opening in the ground just north of here that leads into a cave. If you break one of the ore deposits in there with a hammer, you can get ore, obviously, but more than that. There's flint for starting fires, rock salt for seasoning your cooking, and luminous stones and gems to sell for high prices. Ah. So if you find an ore deposit in a cave, make sure to break it. Oh. I hope our paths will cross again somewhere. So long and safe travels. Why is there a random box just sitting right here? Yep. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so we're heading right back in towards one of my pins, actually. That's pretty convenient. going to be an evil tree, but I have to check. Another golden apple. Oh my god, there's another one. Okay, apparently they're not quite as rare as I was led to believe. Stop dodging. Wow. Not bad. Oh, crap. Never mind.
Oh, I think that shrine up ahead is my blue pin. I'm not sure where the red one is. It doesn't look like the road is going directly there, though. Shark Snarky, how's it going? It's good to see you. Unfortunately, I gotta tell you, man, I'm going to be wrapping up stream very shortly. Just got home from work and wanted to pop in and renew your sub? Wait, did you renew your sub? What the heck? I don't see it. But then Twitch has had a rough time of it lately with alerts and stuff. Oh, okay. Gotta let my battery recharge. Toga, it's so good to see you. Let me get you a shout out. Oh, I'm sorry that you're only catching the end of it, Toga, but it's really good to see you. Audio for you, too? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Aaron Lord. Thank you. Guys, if you are not following uh, to game, she is a wonderful, wonderful... How do, do you... Prefer, is to game okay, or... Um, I'm trying to remember the way you pronounce it, but streaming, you know what it's like to be scatterbrained during stream. I'm having a rough time remembering all of it. But um, anyway... She is a wonderful, really phenomenal streamer who I believe... Did you do the thing? Do you have affiliate yet? Because you were right on the brink, as I recall, and just waiting for a stream to end last night. The game is totally fine. You did the thing? Okay. Are you going to be streaming tonight? Are you going to have a sub button? Most likely amazing. Okay, go follow. She is incredible. Her streams are so much fun. Really, truly chill and relaxing content. You cannot go wrong following her. We know her from Ultra Stream, of course, which means you automatically know that she is good people. Really amazing content. Do yourself a favor and go check her out. Personal guarantee here that you will not regret. Oh my god. That fox just got nailed. The stone landed right on it. A different runner suggested RetroTink 2X Mini for composite to HDMI for capture cards. So you've got lots of options. Chat GPT. Oh, wetland stable. Okay, so we've got that on our map now. That's just outside the visible area. I love that you can travel in style in this one. Where's that shrine? Oh, but uh, the problem is, if I go and do a shrine, I'm going to lose my smikey vehicle here. That sucks. And then I have to go all the way back to Terrytown if I want to get the materials to make the body of it again. So I guess that's it, guys. We just can't do any more shrines ever. <laughs> Thank you. I really like it. Uh, this is kind of the rebuild, though. I had built it originally, and I'm going to have clips posted of this because it was such an amazing moment. But um, what happened was I built the thing originally. And it looks like... The roof isn't quite lining up properly, but you can only attach it at one point, I guess. Uh, I had built it up originally, and then I ran across a group of the... They're not guardians, but, you know, the sentinels or whatever they're called. The, the guys from the Sky Island that are programmed to attack intruders. And one of them had a flamethrower. And so the base of the cart and the wheels survived just fine. But all of the wooden stuff that I had built for shelter and defense, they burned up really, really quickly. Yeah, there will be more sketchy, it's true, but it's just sad because this is my first vehicle that I've built and I've traveled 
all the way from like here or actually more like around here the Hudson construction site I I've traveled with it all the way and so I'm kind of attached to it oh you did the thing Aaron Lord that's awesome okay I'm gonna have to wrap up stream now anyway it's time for me to go do dinner but I might go and do the thing too so okay um this is probably a good point to say that anyway so let's see we are for sure going to be playing this again on what is it friday next stream next stream is friday we will be playing this then so let's see who's on that we can go raid which sadly is not to game unless you want to start your stream up real quick <laughs> probably not but that's okay We'll see who's on. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much. I hope you make wonderful food, but not seafood. Exactly. You're currently eating. Yeah. Nabi Do is on, though. Nabi's another wonderful streamer that we love here. And she's playing Genshin. Uh, Jessica Ravenblut is on. We haven't had many opportunities to raid her before. Greeny is on. He has started his stream. He's playing more Zelda. Um, just going through the people I follow here. Fox Queen is on. It's been years since we've had a chance to raid her. She's playing The Sims 4. Uzi Princess. Oh, she's playing the game that must not be named. I would like to raid her again, because it's been years for her too, but not while she's playing that game. Sarah Key is on. Don't know what she's playing. Currently in Just Chatting. Cheebs is on, also Just Chatting, but she's going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom. Ash Monster is playing... Oh, System Shock is release day. She's playing System Shock. That could be interesting. That looks like that's about it for today. You two were getting a bit freaky with how similar you are. <laughs> You'd vote for Nabi? We are the same. That's why we never stream at the same time. That's true. That is true. Except for the whole mount thing. I will use vehicles, but I won't ride mounts. All right, guys, we're going to go raid Nobby. It's been a little bit since we've had a chance to raid Nobby Do. She is the artist that is responsible for the two best emotes in my roster. The ones that were actually drawn and not just cobbled together or colored text. Okay, we're going to go raid Nobby Do. So let me get you guys... Oh, let me back out of here. Um, okay. Here's the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use... Shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the sub of the channel if you are a sub if you're not a sub you can use the twitch raid and the tomb raid emotes in either case sub or non-sub please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid if you have emotes of your own if you've got emotes from another streamer maybe from twitch themselves feel free to copy the raid message arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear it'll all be good in my book so let's get over to nabi's channel see how she's doing with her genshin play um, maybe catch up with how mermaid is gone i know she's had a lot of trouble with that this year and not had time to do as much as she usually does but i'm sure she's managed to get at least something done so that'll be fun too so i will see you guys back here on friday and we will be definitely playing some more Tears of the Kingdom. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.